Cast your mind back to a time more than two and a half millennia ago, to the year 585 BC. Two formidable empires, the Medes and the Lydians, were on the brink of warfare. This was a world far different from ours, where mighty kingdoms vied for dominion and territory. The Lydians, under the ambitious King Aliats, aimed to broaden their borders and consolidate their power. Mirroring these ambitions, the Medes, led by King Cyaxares, were equally hungry for expansion and supremacy. The stage was set, the tension these dynastic powers was almost tangible, the atmosphere thick with the imminent clash. Disputes over land holdings had turned hostile, birthing a war that had been raging for over five relentless years. This conflict, a bitter testament to their desire for expansion, was on the brink of finding its place in the annals of history through an apocal event, the Battle of the Eclipse. On a fateful day in May, the Medes and Lydians met again on the battlefield, their swords gleaming under the rising sun. This encounter wasn't a mere skirmish, it symbolized the climax of years of tension and conflict, the driving desire of each side to dominate the other. The lead-up to this day was characterized by an intense territorial dispute and the struggle for resources. Both sides had been sharpening their strategies and refining their tactics. The Medes, famous for their swift cavalry and archers, planned a battle of motion and distance. Conversely, the Lydians, with their renowned heavy infantry, trusted in their fortified defenses to withstand the Medes' offensive and counter with force. As dawn broke, the air was thick with the impending conflict, vibrated with the sounds of metal and echoed with the war cries of soldiers. The battle initiated with the Medes' cavalry's bold charge while their archers held back, ready to launch their deadly missiles. In response, the Lydians stood firm, forming an impenetrable shield wall to absorb the impact. While the Medes managed to create turmoil in the Lydian ranks initially, the Lydian infantry stood resolute, repelling the attacks and pushing back the Medes. However, as the battle wore on, no side could claim a distinct advantage, transforming the battlefield into a chaotic melosphere of warriors, horses, and weaponry. Amid the stalemate, an extraordinary celestial event began to unfold overhead, an occurrence that would decide the fate of the battle, and perhaps, history itself. In the thick of battle, the day morphed into night when a total solar eclipse obscured the skies. Soldiers engaged in fierce combat suddenly found themselves gazing at the disappearing sun, their world plunged into an unplanned darkness. The ensuing chill spread like wildfire across the battlefield, replacing the heady adrenaline rush with a tangible blanket of fear. Warriors dropped their weapons in shock, while commanders stood stunned. In moments, the battlefield transformed from an arena of brutality to a surreal stage of silence, broken only by the whispers of disoriented and terrified voices. This eclipse was more than just a celestial event. For these ancient warriors it symbolized divine intervention, a portent from the gods. This interpretation was a shared belief, even among the commanders who saw it as a signal of divine disapproval. They felt the gods were warning them to halt the battle, hinting at the divine wrath that awaited if they ignored the sign. The eclipse's role in altering the battle's trajectory cannot be underestimated. Faced with this awe-inspiring spectacle, even the toughest warriors were captive by a blend of awe and fear. The violence was replaced by a nervous ceasefire, as both factions anxiously awaited the sun's return. The eclipse, an infrequent and dread-inspiring occurrence, turned warriors into mere observers and the battlefield into a divine amphitheater. The unanticipated that wrapped the battlefield signaled an immediate halt to the conflict, as both sides interpreted the eclipse as a divine command to cease warfare. This event illustrated not just a physical battle but also a clash of faiths, showcasing the divine's potent influence on ancient societies. Amidst this ideological conflict, the eclipse emerged as an unexpected pacifier, a celestial phenomenon that reshaped history's course. In the wake of the eclipse, silence blanketed the battlefield, signifying the closure of an exhausting five-year clash. This celestial intervention denoted a turning point, altering the fundamental essence of these ancient civilizations. The eclipse, a sudden and unexpected peacemaker, halted the battle in its tracks. Awestruck by this cosmic spectacle, both factions agreed to a truce, 
The battlefield in this moment morphed into a forum for negotiation, and a peace treaty was forged in the embers of war. An agreement backed by the heavens themselves, it was a stark reminder of nature's influence on human affairs. The Babylonian astronomer clergy, forecasters of this eclipse, emerged as key players in this historical event. Their interpretation of celestial signs foretold a sweeping change, and their deep understanding of this divine science influenced the conflict's resolution. This foresight not only garnered them immense respect, but also defined the course of history. The Battle of the Eclipse reshuffled political borders and alliances, becoming a symbol of divine intervention and peace. It brought about a profound change in warfare strategy and perception. Event has a distinctive position in historical records, not merely as a feud between two empires, but as evidence of a celestial event's power to shape human events. It serves as a striking reminder of our position in the universe and the intertwining of astronomy, warfare, and history. Thus, the Battle of the Eclipse not only terminated a war, but it also became a pivotal milestone in our comprehension of cosmic events.